What's up, everybody? Welcome to Podcast Now. I'm Alex, and welcome back to our Christmas Community Series, a community series that airs every single Sunday leading up to Christmas, obviously on December 25th. This is the third Sunday of December, so this is the third Christmas movie we've been reviewing. We've reviewed Elf, and we've reviewed National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation. It's time to review another movie for Christmas-wise um, that's near and dear to my heart, and that's The Polar Express. So I want to talk about this film. I want to talk about my experiences watching this film, and I want to do, basically, a movie review of this film. So this, this film film came out in 2004, so it's a bit of an older film. Um, I actually didn't even know how old Elf had uh, had been when it came out. I guess Elf is also in its 15th year. So these movies are actually pretty darn old. It's actually kind of weird that probably my top three Christmas movies, which are, I'd say these three that I've already reviewed, um, they've come out, you know, pretty a, a long time ago. 14 years, 15 years, and, uh, you know, 29 years for uh, Christmas Vacation. So it's been uh, a long time that this movie has been out. And this movie, you know, so the reason this movie is third, okay, the reason this movie is third on my list of, of actual movies, uh, Christmas movies that I enjoy, is because the last several years I've gone back and forth with Polar Express. Growing up as a child, uh, like I talked about in the past videos, we have this tradition that I would watch Elf, National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation, and Polar Express. Okay, those would be the three films that we need to watch. Sometimes I watch Scrooge. Um, sometimes I'd watch other things. I really love the SpongeBob Christmas special. There's you know Christmas, th- a year without a Santa Claus. There's a lot of different Christmas specials. Uh, Santa Claus with Tim Allen. There's a lot of Christmas movies, but these would be the three that I must watch. The other ones. You know, if I go a year without watching them, I go two years, you know, it doesn't really matter. These these movies, I'd watch every single year. But as I got older, I'd say really around the last, like, five years... Polar Express has gone very much back and forth with me. Um, it's actually become one of those movies every other year, I'd say. There are some years that I go into Christmas, uh, you know, going into December, and I say, I don't really want to watch Polar Express. I don't really have the need. And then other years, I'm super excited for it. Um, I think last year, I did watch the film, and I super liked it. And this year, I actually do have, like, the urge. I, I want to watch Polar Express. So I do want to see that film. Um, so this must be another, like, up year. But I'll tell you, I think the year before last, I did say going into Christmas, I didn't watch it. I actually did not watch Polar Express. My parents watched the movie, and I just stayed like in my room doing whatever. Uh, I didn't watch the movie because I do feel like Polar Express sometimes just doesn't hit on all the right cylinders. It's a fantastic movie when it's fantastic. And it's a little weird, right? Because it's I'm kind of like bipolar with it. Um, I truly do. When I love this film, I love it. Okay, the the music, uh, the singing, obviously, actually the songs in the movie are super super good. Some of those songs are absolutely fantastic. The voice work is phenomenal. The animations, you know, they're getting old, okay? They're getting older. They still hold up. They still hold up, but they don't hold up like insanely well. Um, you know, with a live action film like a like a Christmas Vacation or with a Elf or whatever, uh, the film tends to hold up a little bit more. And I feel like Christmas movies have an easier time holding up uh, when they've been released a very long time ago. Like obviously, the way that Christmas Vacation is with all the things that they do and the references and literally just the things around their houses and stuff like that, like they're outdated, right? But the the movie still holds. Like nothing is super outdated. Um, but when you have animation films like Polar Express, you know, you're running the risk of them not looking great. Now, I don't have the film on Blu-ray, so maybe like remasters, you know, Blu-ray versions of them, they do look better. I'm sure, our, you know, designers and artists and stuff have gone back to make the movie look better. Um, but, you know, the normal base movie starts to, every year, starts to slip a little bit that it just doesn't hold up as well. Now, I think it. there's a lot of magical things in this movie, and a lot of the stuff does hold up. The entire premise, the entire story of taking this train to go see Santa Claus, really of the people that don't really believe in him, um, as a chance to kind of show them and, and, and bring them the true meaning of Christmas. Um, the, the film is really, really good, okay? It, it, it's not very long at all. Tom Hanks obviously stars in it. He's phenomenal. He does so many voices um, in the movie. He, he's a fantastic actor, and he nails it in this one. The voice actors and the, the cast itself, they're really, really good. Even the nerdy know-it-all kid, I mean, I absolutely love that kid. Um, there's a lot of things to really like in this movie. There's the ghost, you know, on the train. Um, there's just so many things and the journey of those characters and then and the meaning of it and towards, you know, at, at the end even when he loses the bell and all that stuff. Um, there's a lot of sentimental and like heartfelt moments in this movie that I feel like, you know, those kind of moments, the moments that make you feel the most emotion in Polar Express 
they are not even present in Elf and Christmas Vacation. So Polar Express does do something different for me than those two movies because it is just a completely different movie. Obviously, again, it's animated, um, but the story and the emotion and the the what the the atmosphere is trying to build and the story it's trying to tell, it's very different. Plus, also, I mean, obviously, it's just not a comedy. Okay, there there's some okay funny parts of the Know It All kid. I, I find absolutely hilarious. I try and mock him, and I I, I think I somewhat sound like him too. Um, but but, you know, that, the, the, other than that, other than that, there's not a lot of funny moments in Polar Express. It's a story uh, about what the, the story that they're actually telling. So I greatly appreciate that. I really, really do like the, that movie for that reason. And again, like everything comes together. There's a lot of great moments. There's, you know, the moments where the train goes on the ice and all that stuff. So there's so many fantastic moments in this. And the overall premise of this film is fantastic. And it's got a pretty, it's got a dark side to it. It is telling, at times, a more serious, story so you know the the film kind of goes back and forth it's not necessarily a kids movie at all I mean I still enjoy it again you know, sometimes I go into a year and I'm like, you know what? I don't need to watch Polar Express. I do feel like it's it's slipped in the way that I, I needed it as a necessity. And then some years I just feel like I don't need it. Um, but this year I'm definitely looking forward to see. I mean, that's why it's my third favorite. Um, you know, anytime that you say, well, I don't necessarily think I need to. If I ever went like that with Christmas Vacation or Elf, then obviously that would be a problem. But I think they'll always be, uh, every year I'll always want to watch those two films. So Polar Express, I do think is a fantastic film at the end of the day though it's just some years i'm just not feeling that kind of mood and spirit that you need to go into that movie with so let me know in the comments below guys what do you think of the polar express is it a must watch christmas movie for you what do you think about it let me know in the comments below what you guys want me to do for my fourth movie review i already have a couple ideas uh we'll see if anything beats that out but i definitely would like to you know get some of your suggestions and thank you guys so much for watching this video i hope to see you next week